We are indeed here for the Group D elimination match. LDLC up against Epsilon. My name is Hawker, joined by Dean as always. And I think the first thing we have to point out is that unfortunately LDLC aren't quite playing with their full lineup. Coach Crab standing in. How do you think this is going to affect them into this series, Dean? Okay, it looks like Dean's not actually here. It seems like he's got some internet issues, so hopefully that will get sorted. Left me hanging there, but I guess I can just answer my own question, talk to myself for a little bit. I think it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see how LDLC play here. As we were saying, Tuanu not here with the team, so we'll get to see if they decide to have an AWP a lot of the time. That's something we're going to have to watch for. Existence has picked it up in the past on occasion, so maybe he will go towards it. That's certainly something that will be exciting to see. Either way, we're going to head into the pistol round now. I think Epsilon probably going to be favorites with LDLC having a stand-in, but I believe Dean should be back shortly. We're just starting the pistol now, and Robin's going to buy up a kit and a smoke. LDLC just going for full sets of Kevlar. They're all grouping up around second mid here. This could be a very fast-paced round, straight up through mid. LDLC going to go... No, they're not going to go forwards. They're now going to run back towards Banana. And Smooth should spot this out. He gets a dink through the wood. So Devil down to 18 HP. And LDLC still not committing just yet. After what looked like it was going to be a very fast-paced round, they slow things down. And now they're going to group up again around A. Remember, they don't have any utility, so they are just going to have to rely on the Glocks. And Maniac is going to try and get that initial pick. Here we go. The A play coming in, but the bomb is dropped. Having said that, the kills come back quite quickly. There's only one player left in pit. It's T-Sack who has to do it. Oh, and he's going to get overrun. Alex going to finish him off. And it's the two UK boys on the Epsilon side, Surreal and Smuya, who have to try and retake. There was a kit dropped down, but in a 2v4, they're just going to have to play for the frags, and I don't think that's going to be happening. You can see Alex fighting off, gets that headshot, and pretty much settles the round. LDLC indeed do take the pistol. Bit of a strange sort of setup to start the round there, but it worked out for them. And that initial pistol round, I think, is really important for them to gain, considering they have their coach... I think a good start is certainly the best chance for them to come out on top in this series. And they've got that initial pistol. So let's see if they can now hold on against this force buy from Epsilon. Yeah, let's see if they're going to be able to do so. They will at least be going with a fairly heavy rifle buy. So they're trying to play this as safe as they can. They only really go for those two SMGs and Umpa and a Mac 10 They can leave those kind of in the front of the pack to allow those to be the ones that try and scout out the positions. If they do end up falling, then at least the rifle won't be handed over. Only an SMG to be... Given to the enemies and also try and find out if there's any stacks in play from the CT side. But right now LDLC seems like they are just going to be focusing on taking control of the apartments. Just pushing a lot of their players up and towards this position. And this meant that they likely will try and take brackets afterwards. But Alex, let's see if he decides to peek from Boiler. That could get dangerous. He could be peeking straight into the crosshair of uh, Chak, that is. Let's see. Oh, he's going to just decide to fall back off. So once the T's try to take mid control, the CT's happy enough for just going back off passive onto the bomb site itself. Yeah, they are willing to do so. With the CZs, they can afford to try and play up close and then force LDLC to push in towards them. In the meantime, Maniac's going to go in first with the ump, making some noise, and Robin's going to try and catch him out, but Maniac too quick to react. That UMP does find the kill. In the meantime, Alex has to snap for that headshot, but he does get the frag. And that should open up the site as Crab loses the bomb. A little bit awkward there, but Devil will recover it alongside Alex. And it looks like the rest of the lineup has cleaned up this A site. Yeah, I don't know if there's too much surreal can get done here. If he finds this kill early on on towards Maniac, maybe it's possible if he had got that AK, but he's not going to be able to do so. So it will be LDLT taking that round, and they are able to keep all three rifles alive, which is also quite important. They don't really lose too much investment out of that one, and they're going up against a full eco. We should see them being able to build that bank up even a little bit further. Once again, two SMGs being brought in. I presume, once again, they will just lead the charge, look to try and find those opening kills, try and rack up the money, of course, with this extra, extra money bonus per kill, getting that $600. Just want to try and... Uh, Play for the long run with your economy, but yeah, only USPs into this one for Epsilon. Let's see what they are going to be able to get done with the B stack that they've gone for. Just check early on, making some presence towards A. Hoping to maybe try and bait LDLC to head towards that B bomb site to allow for at least a couple of kills to come in. And speaking of Epsilon, remember they lost their first series against Sprout. 
one that maybe people would have expected them to win. And I think the main issue for them there was Cosme not necessarily showing up in that particular series. But I think since then, his form has improved a little bit in the other Katowice qualifier. So if he can show up today alongside Smuya, I think that really would be all Epsilon need in terms of fragging power because the rest of the team seems fairly consistent. So we'll get to see if they do show up. Either way, just a full eco here for Epsilon in this round. LDLC still taking it slowly, but after probing towards B, now they come back towards A. And I don't think Sack is going to be holding this A site all by himself. Should be taken down fairly easily. Yeah, I don't think there's really going to be much, especially with the players wrapping around on long, the long range angles with the rifles, so he wouldn't have really had any sort of chance. So he at least tried to push into apartments, tried to have a little bit of initiative and try and catch one player off alone, but he did get taken down. And because of that now, LDLC full control of this A bomb site and Epsilon, what only USP is, I presume they will be at least trying to get a couple of exit kills out of this one. There's not really any point to saving these ones, I guess maybe if you didn't want to allow your opponents to have that extra money bonus per kill, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Existence and Maniac able to get one each, and then Robin and Cosmin are the last two standing. And there we go, down to Cosmin. But yeah, as you were mentioning also, I feel like another player who, in the games I've watched so far for Epsilon, uh, surreal. He's just been extremely consistent. He's had some great rounds. I think he's been one of their... I'd, I'd say he's been kind of in that third star role. Cosmin is the one you'd expect him to be up there along with Smuya as well, but he's just been a very solid player overall so far. Yeah, he's been pretty good for Epsilon. That's And that's really all they need from him when they do have Smuya and Cosmin. I mean, obviously, it'd be nice if he could step up, but if he can just be consistent, that's something that they also will need. Either way, into this round, we're going to see a deep smoke down banana from Robin. So that could imply some CT aggression. You can see LDLC in the meantime, with a couple of SMGs still in play, will try to take apps control. That's allowing them to take some close range engagements if the CTs were here. But the CTs are not playing from apps. They're playing down in towards short. And they could be caught here. They're running back to the site, but they're out in the open. And then goes Maniac to get that first headshot. Smuya also caught, but he does get a kill. Nearly the second he has to go for the USP, and he does get that frag. Existence finally gets a couple of headshots there. So it's actually back to a 2v2, despite looking good for Epsilon. LDLC have managed to bring it back. Yeah, and currently no Diffuse kit in the possession of these Epsilon players, which is going to make this retake a bit more difficult. I'm not sure if there is one drop that they could retrieve, but Existence, he continues on finding these headshots for himself, just, uh, for himself rather, just goes for that quick shoulder peek and takes down Cosme, and so it's all onto Surreal now. And as you can see, he will indeed get flanked out by Devil, so LDLC, after not really having a great start to that round, they bring it back, I believe it was a 2 on 4. Existence really stepping it up, and it will be LDLC to get themselves this very solid 4-0 start. I mentioned in the pre-game, Tuanu not being here means that LDLC need another AWPer. And apparently Krav is that AWPer, the coach looking to step up. He's yet to frag in this game so far. Let's see if that massive investment in towards him is warranted. Because that's not something you'd expect to see when your coach is standing in. That's a lot of money invested into someone you wouldn't expect to be able to perform too well. Yeah, he bought that up himself as well. I'm not really sure if that was the best idea up against these pistols with so many close range angles on Inferno. It can just get difficult to move. He finds the opening kill. If he can get another one out of this, this will be a really good position for Epsilon. He also has support from Cosmine, but it seems like right now LDLC just want to be careful. Don't want to lose any more kills. They're happy enough with just trying to bring this four on five back. And let's see where they do eventually bring this one. Right now, just waiting to see, I guess, if any mistakes are made by Epsilon, if they go for any peaks and give away these kills. As you can see, the bomb making its way back towards mid, just going to be holding towards that position. Looks like they may be favoring over towards the A bomb site, which right now there is three players in position, but even then they're not really working that well together. They are kind of split off into one on ones. So if the T's are able to win out these aim battles, it could get could get a little bit difficult. But they've made a different decision, perhaps. They've backed off towards Banana, and right now it's only Smuya over towards this position, and he's actually quite aggressive. If he gets taken down, the site gonna get overrun does have that Desert Eagle, which he got that first kill in this round with. So let's see if he can find anything else. He is still trying to play aggressive, but there's plenty of players waiting. But Smuya gets that frag nearly the third as well. This could be dangerous now. 23 seconds and Smuya is still here spamming away. It's three for Smuya. He's looking for the fourth. He finally gets taken down, but the damage is done. Maniac, the only man left and Surreal pushes through to finish him off. And well, Smuya there massively stepped up. He said he was the only player towards B, but if he can get three kills and slow them down, clearly he did enough to win Epsilon the round.
Oh yeah, I I liked that peak that he went for. It was risky, high risk, high reward. If he fell, it would have been, he would have been in a really bad position because then it, Cosmin, I believe, was the closest player, and he was actually in CT spawn where a smoke would have been cutting off his vision. But yeah, a lot of a great round there coming in by Epsilon, and now they get a very solid bio into this one. There we go. And once again, Smooth, you're going to be the man to find the opening. Chat going to be chiming in, sprays them down. Three quick headshots as the Molotov goes ahead and gives its assistance, and now it's only Devil that's remaining alive. He's just going to be in towards the second mid position and. Up against five CTs right now, I'm not sure much can be done. His main goal right now, maybe try and get some damage out of this if possible, and maybe even a bomb plant. All DLC, they still have some money left over, so if they're able to get that bomb plant, it would allow them to get a pretty decent buy into the following round. Yeah, not the best round for ODLC. I think after they lost that first pick, they felt like they needed the quick trade. They really forced the issue, and oh, Smuya is there again. He's got that AWP, and he is starting to look hot. Not necessarily that difficult of a shot there, but it's nice to land those early on just to build that confidence. As you were saying, LDLC, they still just about have a buy together. This is a round now that becomes a must-win for them. Crab forced down to the CZ, but that's not a massive issue. He can just try and play up close. He can just try and go in first and allow his teammates to trade. Molotov comes out on Cosmian, gonna go for the peak. He nearly gets that opening kill. However, oh, LDLC managed to avoid him for the time being. Having said that, Epsilon are pushing down Banana and Devil might be in position. The flash comes in, perfect flash. That's so well played from LDLC. Two free kills for Devil. And that almost guarantees them the round win at this point. They should be able to close this out fairly easily now. Yeah, if they commit straight to B, they definitely will be able to do so. Smuya, the only player in position, and he is currently smoked off. And with the op, he doesn't really have the chance to really spam through that smoke either. Maybe if he had a rifle, he could spray wildly and hope to get something done. Even then, it would be up to a bit of luck. But yeah, bomb going down on B. Epsilon right now, their economy. It's actually pretty decent, but I don't think it'd really be worth going for a 3 on 5 retake on this B bomb site. The chances of actually being able to win it are slim to none. But I think right now, trying to save these weapons is definitely going to be their main focus. And it seems like LDLT are happy enough with maybe going for a bit of a hunt. We see that Maniac, I believe, over in the apartments and Existence even taking down Smoo. You know, the op taken off of the server. That's not good for Epsilon. Chak finds one at least, but Existence gets himself a second onto Robin. And Alex closes that one out onto Chak, so they don't even need to wait for that bomb to explode. They find all of the kills. Well, there we go. LDLC win the round right to back and put Epsilon now on the verge of being broken. They will get a buy together. Robin has called for a pause here. Looks like it's going to be technical, though, because Smuya has dropped from the server. So we get a little bit of time to sort of recuperate as to what's been going on so far. I don't think Epsilon can really take too much from that previous round, though. I, I think the push down banana is a, is a fine idea. They just got caught in the worst possible position where they didn't know where Devil was and the flashbang full blinded them. There's not much they can do in that position. And it's just kind of one of those unfortunate positions where LDLC read them well, countered them. And Epsilon, they can't really dwell on that round. I think they just need to look ahead and realize that was just a good read from LDLC and that they can still compete here because, again, there's nothing they could have really done about that unless they managed to avoid the flash. Yeah, that's... Them, they, I don't. Obviously, they're not happy with losing the round, but they shouldn't be like, "Wow, big mistakes were made" or anything. It's yeah. not like that was it. It was just well played with the utility by LDLC. So Epsilon, yeah, at least they're still able to scrape a buyout on this one. They won't have the op sadly on the smooth yet, but they will at least have five rifles and a small amount of utility to try and back it up. They should have a few smokes to be able to hold down those choke points. And let's see what they're going to do this time. Will they try and go aggressive once again? Is the question because I think this time maybe it would be a little bit more, a little bit more viable since they are kind of lacking on the utility and don't have that op to find the opening kills. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded someone to go down to an SMG just to get the full nades, especially over towards Banana. The fact they don't have an incendiary now is actually kind of an issue because that's what the CTs generally use to counter any early aggression. And you can see if LDLC placed their Molotov, I don't think Epsilon can really afford to get aggressive unless they go for a later peak with a flash. That's certainly still an option. They have three players towards Banana, but now it is going to be Robin thinking of the rotate back, although he's sticking around a little longer. Maybe because of these Molotovs coming in. The Molly, though, in the corner, forces Surreal to deploy the smoke. So that's even more utility lost. But now the flash comes in and Cosmin going to get all sorts of frags. Where did these kills come from? Epsilon go up to a 5v2, turned into a 5v1. And well, if Krav, the stand-in, manages to clutch this 1v5, he is an absolute god. Let's put it that way.
Oh, he gets the first. Oh, for a second there, I was nearly believing, but Epsilon just straight up win aim fights, it seemed. Yeah, that was that was nice. They did kind of go aggressive, but not in the way that I was thinking they may have. They didn't actually decide to push down. And instead, they just went for three players early on towards the top of Banana. They got themselves into really good positions to, once the TS peaked, kind of just be in a position to bait off of each other and peek out. And it just worked out perfectly. They got three quick opening kills out of it. And now it's actually going to be all the LC that aren't going to be able to afford a buy. Just going to be the pistols. Kevlar onto Devil. And let's see what they're going to be going for in this round. I would have liked to have seen maybe a bit of a faster round try and... Try and maybe counteract that aggression that we've seen from Epsilon so far. Try and catch the players while they're up close, close the distance with the pistols. But it seems like right now they are just splitting up and holding a fairly standard default. Yeah, and again, Epsilon are keeping three players towards Banana for fairly long at the start of the round. You will see teams do that, but not for that long. And wait, okay. I don't know how that incendiary got a kill, but there we go. Robin opens things up. Cosmine going to go for the spray. Surreal is there to have his back. And a fairly easy clean up for Epsilon. I didn't quite see how the player died to the incendiary there, but Robin was very far away when that incendiary got the kill. So I'm not sure if it was a mistake or what happened, but nonetheless, Epsilon going to get themselves their fourth on the board. I think they threw two incendiaries down to the bottom of Banana, and he, when he tried to jump out of one, he just ran into another. I think that was what happened. Okay. But yeah, there wasn't really much you could do on that one. LDLC, they are a team that we at least have known over the car over the run of this tournament to be going for weird buys like this, and they go for it once again. I like the aggressive play, though. The Mac 10 in the hands of Devil will be able to find that opening kill onto Cosmine. And now Robin needs to be careful, doesn't want to get overrun. He has the support of Surreal still, of course, and with that utility to use, they will be able to lay this push at least for a small amount of time. And a good position right now for Epsilon. Smooya was able to get himself down towards the bottom of Banana, catches at least one jump into the smoke. And it seems like LDLC now, they are a little bit afraid, need to be careful. The Molotov goes down, and Smooya, that's as smart as he possibly can. He just goes ahead and falls back off, and he even burns one alive, and the bomb is gifted to him as he gets himself another towards the top of mid. So LDLC, this round, started off so strong, but it's fallen apart. This is the last man standing, and he will be taken down by Smooya, who steps it up massively in a round and takes that 4k. Yeah, he's already up there at 14 frags in the first 10 rounds. Certainly a strong start from him. But LDLC there, I mean, you don't need to be a genius for me to tell you that the fact that they got sort of caught on Banana on the T side is never a good thing for them. They got completely trapped. Either way, this is going to be a full buy for them again. So they have the AKs in play. And we've seen some aggression out second mid. Actually, Smuya was in the mid smoke there. Very risky, but it was sack with the nade to get the first kill. And LDLC, again, they're trying to hold their default, but it seems like fairly often now they have been picked off early. This time it's Krav who goes down and they have to play from the man disadvantage. Yeah, I think Krav, if they were to lose any player earlier on, that would probably be the one they'd want to lose. He could then maybe just sit back and I'm sure he could even give some sort of assistance with the call. And he's not the coach, he is the analyst, but I'm sure he would have done some analysis on Epsilon to be able to maybe try and have a few reads against them. But again, I guess up against a new team, that's something that is going to be a little bit more difficult. But LDLC, yeah, their default so far hasn't really been working out. We've seen Epsilon doing a great job of just getting those early aggressive pushes, taking themselves an advantage and, and then just falling back and being happy enough with sitting on that one and allowing LDLC to be the team that have to try and make the play and smooth it. Let's see if he's going to be able to step it up once again. He will be able to indeed as he takes down Alex with a quick headshot existence. He's been playing well so far in this game as he picks up one as does Devil and Maniac. Catch a Smuya off guard. So Ep oh, Epsilon just completely losing control of this A bomb site. All the kills out of nowhere going back in favor of LDLC. And it is going to be the A bomb site under their control with the bomb planted and Surreal and Cosme. And now going to be left to try and retake this one. Yeah, LDLC won two crucial gunfights at the same time, and that has allowed them to get back in control. But just as I say that, Cosmine gets a kill back. Existence, though, trying to get up on this smoke. Great off angle, but he doesn't convert for the kill. Instead, he gives away his position. The trade comes back, a one-on-one. -on -one, and Existence peeks out for the kill. After whiffing that earlier chance to give his team the advantage, he makes up for it with the double. And LDLC do manage to get into the lead. But Smuya here seems to have made a decision for his team. The rest of them can't get a great buy, but he's got that AWP in play. And clearly, he's confident he can do enough to win Epsilon the round. Yeah, he's been having a good performance so far, so I don't see why not. Confidence is something that should definitely be running through his veins currently, as LDLC, once again, seems like they are going to be going for their default, maybe even a little bit more passively this time. We see them being maybe just a bit more cautious. Smuya, he's going to be forced back off that angle with some great usage of, of the utility by LDLC. That Molotov perfectly pushes him back. 
He is now going to be just holding back towards the corner instead to try and spot the players who come up banana. Not being quite as aggressive. But right now, LDLC, grouping up towards apartments. Looks like they will be trying to focus on control in mid. Trying to get control of the brackets position where currently Epsilon actually have four players to try and hold this one down. Yeah, they do for the time being. A Smooya. Oh no, the AWP goes down. It gets spammed by Devil. Surreal has a couple of players in the back and he's going to take two. So it is back to a three on three, but you can see Epsilon spread very thinly across the map. Still, Sack's going to upgrade and gets that headshot. That does drop the bomb, but I think it just about went round the corner towards short. So it should be recovered. LDLC will be able to get onto the site. And Epsilon will just try to set up this 2v2 retake. Still very doable, especially as the bomb still hasn't gone down. That gives Epsilon a lot of time to work with here. Ooh, Cosmine pushing forwards, manages to jump up on that little moped to get that headshot. Maniac was kind of left for dead on the site there, so Devil now has to clutch a 1v2 with the bomb not necessarily planted for him. You can already see Epsilon clearing corners slowly but surely as Cosmine goes out. Yeah, you see there, Devil's just kind of stuck out in the open. He was trying to get nearer to the bomb. And that didn't quite work out for him. So Epsilon will just hold off on the defuse to get that up. But they will get their sixth round on the board. Looks like again, Dean is having connection issues. So you're stuck with me for a little bit. Cosmine did manage to save the AWP at the end there. That will go straight back to Smuya. But more importantly, LDLC, well, I was going to say, are probably going to Eco. But as soon as I say that, Maniac buys up the AK. This is that classic LDLC buy we see. Very, very rare to see a buy like this where only one AK is invested, but it's LDLC who do it often, and it's going to work. Maniac gets that opening pick. That could just prompt them to go straight up for the B push now. They have two rifles to work with, and you can see Maniac is caught. Surreal gets three kills. Great job by Surreal there to lock down the B site. And that might just do enough for his team. He survives on 10 HP, allows the rotation, but Surreal gets a fourth kill. Smuya misses the shot. This is a very, very awkward engagement, but eventually Smuya finishes the job. And Surreal really stepping up there. Just a solid hold on that site. Really made the difference for his team. And now LDLC, you can see the cost of not having that in the previous round, buying up that AK means that Maniac is forced down to a CZ, but it's not a massive issue. He still gets a full set of nades. The CZ is still very powerful. So that's the idea behind that buy. And you saw that it very nearly worked for LDLC. This time around though, Robin is caught early into the round. He's trying that aggression. Sack's gonna get the trade back. So it's quickly back into a 4v4 and LDLC seem to be lining up an A push. Well, it looks as though Epsilon have got three players here. Cosmine currently holding towards a long, but it's Smuya towards short to get the first and the second. Very quick shots from Smuya, and he might just get the third. Smuya stepping up alongside Cosmine to close out the round. But again, it's just all about Smuya with that AWP. 19 kills for him. It seems like for the most part, when Epsilon are winning these rounds, Smuya is doing a lot of the work in gaining them these round wins. And into round 15, LDLC just stuck with pistols. So it looks likely Epsilon might get a ninth round before the end of the half. Yeah, looking very likely. LDLC into this one, only going to have pistols to work with. Smuya and Cosmine going to be able to open this one up and continuing the aggressive pushes as we've seen so far in this game. Alex will eventually return that one, but still Smuya in an aggressive position. Was maybe looking to try and actually deny the pickup of that weapon, but he just does peek out mid, takes down existence. And now it's only onto two players for LDLC. Make that one, as Alex is the sole remaining player. Has one kill. He needs to get the ace clutch to be able to actually win this one out for his team. So looking extremely unlikely. And Chak, I believe he spotted out the shoulder. Here it will be in favor of Epsilon. So 9 to 6 half for Epsilon. Definitely not a bad performance, especially with LDLC starting it off 5 to 0. There we go. A 9 round half. I think Epsilon will be fairly happy with that. And I'm sure Smoothie will be happy with his kill count. 21 frags on the board. I know we were talking about him a lot, but to be fair, Surreal had that one very impactful round. Cosmine also having a pretty good performance so far. 
So really, I think this is uh, this is what Epsilon would be looking for. Maybe Cosmine could be having a few more frags, but when Smooth is playing so well, it's not an issue. They're getting the rounds they need, and considering LDLC won the pistol, again, 9-6, a very good half for Epsilon, and they've got to be feeling great about their chances here. So second half underway, and clearly Smuya is feeling it, because he has been dropped the P250 to play with the Kevlar. Epsilon going to sit back very, very patiently here. This would work to counter something that CTs do sometimes, which is that mid-push to try and flank a banana aggression from the terrorists. So it's not an awful idea, and you can see Robin also has the flash lined up to regain banana control. So Epsilon will now make their way forwards. This might be a little more telegraphed with that one flash coming in, though. You can see Devil is leaning back towards B. It looks like Epsilon's still not going to pull the trigger here. Now, though, it looks like they may be lining up the push. Smoothie looks to go in first. Maniac around the corner, whiffing the shots. He might have to call for the rotation now, but you can see they've shown the bomb. Now Epsilon are going to go back towards A. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, though, because Maniac is still peeking at B. So you can see three players still holding A for LDLC. Here comes the push. Existence holding A long. Spots them out. Doesn't quite get a frag. But the Glocks will still try to push forward alongside the P250s. And here we go. Some fights have to happen now. It's Alex to get the first kill. Oh, a second for Alex. He finally is traded on. But the kills come in all across the board for LDLC. I believe it was Krav who even got a double there to make the difference for his team. And that is both pistol rounds now won for LDLC. Again, this is the start they needed. So here we go. Round 17, pistols for Epsilon. Both sides have pretty much invested all of their money. But LDLC have a lot more to show for it. But Cosmine, going to get that first kill out towards Apps. That's the MP9 held into his hands, and he will happily fall back. Good start for Epsilon, and you can see Alex re-aggressing. That was a risk. If he goes down there, that FAMAS could have been recovered for Epsilon. But he manages to win that fight, so brings it back to a 4v4 was clearly confident he could come out on top. In the meantime, LDLC have Maniac peeking down Banana, so that's allowed them to lean three players over towards A. But if Maniac gets picked off, they would be in trouble here, and you can see Maniac has now been forced to fall back. Epsilon going to gain ground towards the B side of the map. Again, still mostly pistols to play with, but it's three Deegs on their side right now, so they can certainly take some long-range fights. It looks as though they're lining up the smoke for CT. The boost has come in for LDLC. As the time ticks down, Epsilon are going to have to push shortly. The smoke comes in, but Devil was up. He decides to fall off the boost. He doesn't want to take that risk. In the meantime, it's Maniac to get the first kill, but you can see now Devil stuck behind the smoke, but he still is going to frag. Sack is going to get the bomb down, but he won't live for much longer. And Surreal is the only man left, not for much longer. Alex takes him down. A bomb plant for Epsilon isn't awful, but it's not going to be enough for them to get a buy into this round. So LDLC will still be in control. Despite Epsilon gaining ground there, they didn't really find too many frags with three LDLC players surviving. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And this round, I'm not going to see too much. Just a couple of pistols for Epsilon. Yeah, just making sure they can get a solid bio into the upcoming rounds. Mui, you're going to be aiming to get the op, of course, which he should have enough for along with that body armor if he wishes to do so. Actually, no, not anymore. He actually invested into a deagle afterwards. So he'll definitely probably be lacking now unless he picks up a couple of kills. But yeah, let's see what's going to be done by Epsilon here. LDLC, they are fighting quite aggressively. Could get dangerous with so many deagles being in the hands of Epsilon. But with Cosmin being found there early on, I don't think much is going to be done now. Damage has been well, heavily in favor of LDLC. Alex himself, he was taken down quite low. Still, Chuck and Robin being brought down a tiny bit. And with no Kevlar to work with aim punch is going to be a big factor for Epsilon currently. I mean, LDLC taking a very aggressive stance towards Banana. Smoke going down, cutting them off. It looks like they will just group up and try and make their way towards A. Looks to be the case. I'm going to see if they can maybe catch someone out. And to be fair, 
Existence with his M4 is in the cubby here. He could be in trouble, but oh my goodness. Existence just gets four kills in a matter of seconds there. I was going to say he might have been taken down, but nope, not meant to be. Epsilon can't land any shots. Aim punch probably becoming a factor. And they will just have to forget about that round and look forward to finally having rifles on their side again. I guess one issue is Smuya doesn't get an AWP, so that's sort of some of their playmaking ability lost. But I'm sure he will also be very capable with the AK into this 19th round. Yeah, certainly, and my LDLC carrying over quite a few SMGs, only having one M4 and a FAMAS also. There's a good chance right now for Epsilon with these AKs to be in a good position, at least to win out the majority of the aim jolt. You see Thor the Banana early on, there was a bit of aggression coming in by, I believe, Maniac, but he falls back off just as just as he was about to actually be exposed to his opponent, so maybe the timing working slightly in his favour. But yeah, Epsilon going to be able to at least take control of Banana now. CT side have just decided to give this one up. LDLC, happy enough with conceding that. Cosmian, trying to find the opening kill over towards Zay. Will spy one player, but he doesn't really get too much found. As right now, Epsilon, still a lot of time to work with. And also a decent amount of map control. Looks like they will just try and get themselves control of brackets now. And if they go towards A, this is going to be the correct decision. Only two players on this side of the map, and Krav being one of those. Will be spotted out up on top of the balcony early on and receives a bit of damage off of Cosmian. Now, DLC, remember, have kept a fair few MP9s here, so they won't necessarily be expecting to win this round, but Krav gets an easy frag. Even the stand-in can get that one. The MP9 is struggling to get the kill, but eventually finds it, and Krav gets another headshot. Very nicely done from him. Doubles down on the round. And again, another showing from the, the, uh, the, the last-minute sub, I guess you could say. He's actually managed to find a couple of kills in the last few rounds. And there we go, LDLC get another round on the board. Mm. Can we get a God Crab spam on the chat, please? Oh, yeah. But yeah, LDLC claiming the lead for the first time in quite a while, I believe, since maybe the mid middle of the first half after they lost that 4-0 lead. But yeah, LDLC should have a good position here to get themselves up to 11, with only pistols once again being available for Epsilon. And only even two players going to go ahead and invest into Kevlar. Crab with the op opens it up, Existence with an aggressive push. He's been having a great performance so far, and he continues to do so as he takes down Robin. No, Epsilon with three players remaining and the bomb all the way back towards the ramp still. Where will they eventually take this one? And it seems like they will be just taken to the grave, but Jack through the smoke takes down one. Surreal catches existence also. Now they'll see they need to be careful here. They don't want to be losing too many of these weapons. Luckily enough, neither has been retrieved yet by the Epsilon players. So they will just still be working with these pistols. But Devil, so low towards being a very aggressive position. If he falls, even if he just takes one and then dies, plant looking likely. So here we go. He gets both. He gets the spray down, so we don't really have to worry about that one. Yeah, LDLC will be very thankful he got both those kills there because that could have got dangerous. But here it is again. Crab with the AWP. To be fair, I mean, he's got eight kills. That's not awful. He's actually not the bottom fragger right now. Robin on Epsilon has less than him. So clearly not being awful. But the question is, can Crab out AWP Smuya? I mean, that's yet to be seen. I feel like it's unlikely, but... With Krav being on the CT side, he gets to hold the angles. Maybe his reactions will be good enough to get the frags. He's a god, let's be real. He's gonna oh, yeah. he's gonna get a 3k this round, I can feel it, but look Almost at this by LDLC. Look at his aggressive push, Devil through the smoke, just spams down Robin. As mentioned, he is currently the bottom performer on Epsilon and being taken through the smoke. He's not gonna be happy about that one at all. Smoo, yeah, had a nice chance there actually to manage to return it on towards Alex, but sadly did not connect that shot. Alex, realizing there's an op posted up on that position, decides to just bail out and go back towards the A-bomb side. And it's actually Alex now with the op. Crowd's gonna get taken down just after swapping weapons as Cosmian from the apartments is gonna be able to find that headshot. And now on a four on four, Epsilon grouping up towards A, it seems. And right now, only two players in position to try and hold this one down. Alex, low HP with the op pushing forward, will be caught. Surreal finds that opening, and now it's all up to existence on the bomb site as he falls to Chak and a 2 on 4 now for LDLC. It is going to be a very difficult retake, which I don't even know if it's really worth going for. Yeah, probably not at this point. Epsilon even have a lot of utility left, which means it's almost impossible for LDLC. Smuya does miss that shot. There was a chance there for Maniac, but he misses on the frag. So LDLC will now decide to fall back. And I'm just disappointed we didn't really get to see Krav with that AWP. He gives it over to Alex. I mean, that's that's pretty BM. I feel like Krav, Krav would have got the job done. Hashtag justice for Krav. I think it was more of a Bogdan. I think it was because Alex had been tagged up quite heavily. 
He was down to roughly 30 or so, so I guess they just swapped Krav. We saw him hit a few nice shots with the rifle. Alex, he's definitely capable with the up. I've seen him using it a few times before, so I guess they were just going to give that a go. We saw Alex, he tried for the aggressive push, sadly didn't connect a shot, and because of that with two T's, just pushing him down, he was just instantly dropped, and because of that, the A-bomb site going in control of Epsilon, and you can see the outcome of that is Epsilon able to claim themselves that 10th round. And now LDLC, still plenty of economy to buy into this one, so they'll be looking to try and reset the economy of Epsilon, and if they're able to do so, they'll still be in a very solid position, so this should be a pretty important round coming out, and interestingly enough, Devil, he'll be the one picking up that up for LDLC. Everyone's giving it a go. It'll be Maniac next. We'll have to wait and see uh, how Devil does with it. Maybe if he starts to get a few kills, then he will stick with it. He's currently over towards the B side of the map. It looks like they want to leave Devil solo holding B. He's currently in towards CT as well. He could be easily taken out, but Cosmine, speaking of taking out, takes LDLC out of the round entirely. He spots out that boost and manages to get both kills in towards Apps, and this is just absolute domination on the A site. I mean, that all happened in a matter of seconds, and Devil's wondering what the hell has just happened on the A site. He's got nothing to do with the AWP. Oh, Devil misses the shot as well, so he's not even going to get to save it. Surreal spraying him down. That's uh, That's got to be disheartening for LDLC there, just losing the A site so quickly. And you can see what it means for them. This buy is going to be subpar. You can see a couple of SMGs alongside the CZs. Maybe they can catch a few players out, depending on how Epsilon play the round. The nades are going to go down mid, and Smuya could be in trouble here. A couple of players, in fact, are down in towards T ramp. It's Robin who's forced back, but Sack has already got a couple of kills. He's eventually traded on, but Robin in position. And Existence may have an AK but he doesn't have any health as Cosmine takes him down. And to be fair, Cosmine has stepped up in the recent rounds. He's actually catching Smuya in terms of frags now. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think smuya has got a kill on this second half up until this point. A little bit unfortunate for him because he had such a great first half, but still stuck at 21 kills. But here we go. Another author for LDLC. This time, Existence is going to enter the ring. This has been four separate players orping, and Existence is going to prove it is fourth time lucky as he finally wins an orp fight for the LDLC side. Interestingly, Existence is going to go back towards Banana. That might be a good read as well. Depending on if Epsilon peak here, he could be good for a second frag. Existence manages to do so. Surreal had the AWP in hand, and yet he gets taken out of the round. And maybe Existence is the AWP LDLC were looking for. It is worth pointing out, LDLC don't have much utility left. But with the two-man advantage, that shouldn't be a massive consideration for them. With 55 seconds left, Epsilon are going to... By the looks of things, hit this B site. Existence has rotated back. He wants to be unpredictable with that AWP, but unfortunately for him, that means he won't be at B in time for the hold. So Epsilon going to push through, and they're going to push through their own CT smoke. The flank going to come in from Cosmine. He is in ruins right now, and Robin gets a very quick entry. That was an important frag to find, but Maniac is still here. Maniac dancing around the box. Oh, TSAC gets the quick trade, though. I thought Maniac was in position for a double there, but T-Sac reacts quickly. Having said that, he's out in the open, but Cosmine manages to get the frag. Alex is going to get the trade back, and Alex gets that second headshot. That is what he was looking for. Epsilon there bring it incredibly close, and Alex there was deliberating whether he should save that second AWP. And eventually he decided to do so. So LDLC, they're willing to go for the two orbs, even though they are missing their primary orper. Tuanu not here today. We'll get to see who gets that orb for their side, though, because Existence will certainly be keeping his, you would think. And it looks like Devil's going to have the second. I guess that makes sense. Devil seemed to be orping a fair bit earlier. Either way, Epsilon still have money for a buy here. So 12-12, everything to play for into round 25. Yeah, by no means are, they, are either of these players bad offers, so it'll be interesting to see what they can get done. 
now Epsilon been able to get themselves up to a 12 health score line, of course, LDLC. Let's see what they're going to be able to return it now. Been able to at least take one, but they need to try and chain them together. Otherwise, it will be an economic reset coming in, which would not be good for LDLC this late into the game. If they do end up having to go for an eco, likely Epsilon going to be able to run away with a very solid lead. As right now, it seems to be just a fairly standard default by Epsilon. Just going for the map control, looking to try and take over both Banana and Apartments. And maybe later on mid if they decide to do so. But for now, three players actually focused over towards Banana. Where we only see Devil with that off, trying to actually hold this B bomb site. Takes the shot against Smuya, will give away his position. And the smoke goes down and actually cuts him off. So if they wanted, Epsilon could take over this B bomb site. But without the bomb, it seems like for now they will be just backing off. And reapproaching this round a little bit later. Still nearly a minute, of course, to work with. Yeah, and it looks like they are going to group up, as you were saying. Epsilon, they haven't really taken all of the time in the round that often, and that will continue to be the case. They're going to go with 40 seconds left on towards B. You can see the positioning from LDLC not really on point. Devil hoping to get lucky through the smoke, but with the AWP, there's nothing for him to do. Krav's going to go aggressive. He's just run through the smoke. I mean, it was ambitious from Krav. I didn't really see any nades to help him out either. And it's not going to work out for LDLC. They lose the site. They don't find any frags. And that is the round done and dusted. Yeah, the only positive I can really see is that they actually may still be able to save the double up setup. But as I say that, the hunt is coming in smoothly. Interestingly enough, with his own up, going to be hunting this one down. Finds one, but falls to Alex. I'm not sure if that's quite worth it. Epsilon, they do have a decent amount of economy, I guess, but I'm not sure if it's really worth throwing away an op for that. But yeah, two ops still available for LDLC. Still looking to try and save these. Alex, he's still in a bit of a danger zone right now. There is a lot of terrorists kind of lurking around his position. But we should see Devil definitely saving that op into the following round. And it seems like Alex will also be able to do so. So a bit of a positive for LDLC. But other than that, I don't know what they're going to have to really back this one up. Seems like it will be just pistols. Yeah, we've seen the orps thrown around on the LDLC side. They're going to have to step up in this round. It's Alex and Devil this time around. So even though Existence is the only one who's really found success with the orp, this time it's not going to be him with it. Alex and Devil stick with the ones they saved. And Alex is going aggressive into apartments. That is very unorthodox. He's going to be picked off early on. Krav, in the meantime, did get a kill back. He gets an AK, but not for too long, because Cosmin is managing to get the trade quite quickly there. Good to see Epsilon be close enough to ensure, sorry, the AK isn't recovered. And Cosmin, he has really stepped up on this T side. Another entry on towards A, and I think he's just won them the round straight up here. 4v2, there's nothing LDLC can do. Yeah, honestly, that may even be the game, because in the upcoming round the LDLC, they're not going to have any money still to work with. And then, likely, Epsilon going to be at least able to take map point the LDLC, then they will only have to pick up three rounds of, uh, in a row, of course, to go to overtime. But right now, Epsilon are looking like the better team. We've seen them having a lot of success on this T side. And right now, it will be Devil and Maniac at least trying to save something into the following, so that they have some sort of weaponry to work with. Maniac, of course, only having the CZ, the main... The main goal right now to save is to make sure that Devil can carry this up over. You see Maniac is going to be holding towards CT, so he can at least give a bit of an early warning to his teammate, but he won't be able to find anything. So Maniac finds that quick headshot, and now Devil being the last man standing, going to be difficult for him to try and save this one. If he takes down Smuya, maybe he can do so, but let's see if he's going to be able to do it. Gets the first. Robin's still up close, though. Smoke goes down, and... This could get close right now. This is going to get a little bit awkward. Just playing around the smoke. Nice Ooh. shot on the Jack actually towards Banana. And I think that will allow for it indeed to be saved over into the following round. So Devil, really nice job saving there. He was completely surrounded. Just threw it on a smoke. Managed to get a kill from above. And then just hit in it. And was able to run the time down long enough for him to actually carry that one over. So LDLC, looks like they will actually maybe just go for the eco. They might go ahead and just try and play for... Yeah, not a terrible idea at this point. To be honest, the buy would not have been great. And they still have the one AWP that's going to get boosted up. I was going to say that, but Devil decides now to fall back. He's still going to hold this somewhat aggressive angle, though, back on the site. And there it is. Devil gets the first kill. Epsilon are going very fast pace here. This is somewhat strange, but Devil gets destroyed by Robin. The AKs have just found all of the frags. They carve open that B bomb site. As soon as Devil went down, it was only pistol players left, and T-Sack gets one through the smoke. Oh, tapping away for the final frag. And, I mean, LDLC, sure, they still have a buy in hand. 
However, considering they need three in a row just to secure overtime on their own map pick, it's not looking great for their chances in the overall series. So here we go. Round number 28 could be the final round of this first map. Epsilon on the verge of scraping this first map away from them and oh, T-Sac gets another frag there. Alex out towards mid is looking for a gap in the smoke. I don't think he's going to find it. Cosmine just rips his head off there. There's a player up close, but Smooya is going to take him down. And Existence has been the one shining light for LDLC in this map. But he's going to have to win a 1v4 to make this doable. He does get the first, but takes so much damage in the process. And there it is. Smooya comes in on 4 HP to close out the map. It is indeed Epsilon to take this first. 